good morning my friends and family so this is day six and uh our kazakhstan road trip and uh pretty much saw quite a bit of things on the east side of kazakhstan not everything but we saw a lot of things and i mean a lot even saw some really cool soviet murals anyways we're supposed to go see the last remaining forest of the apple forests of kazakhstan before they were all destroyed by the former Soviet Union and uh, if you didn't know the, the apple forest this region is known as the father of all apples every single gene DNA gene sequencing has all come down to Amity as the father of all apples and that was going to be a great opportunity to go and see that but then we started getting messages like alert messages saying oh yeah avalanche oh yeah it's gonna snow and we're like what the hell what the hell where all this snow is gonna come from i escaped nursatan to come here to get away from the snow and now look there's snow so we had to cancel that trip to go to the forest because we're definitely not properly dressed for the snow and the mountains so now we're just gonna look at amity look at the city probably go some soviet union mural hunting maybe if we're lucky and uh we'll see what today day six is going to be all right that's for Danya. let's go soviet union relic shopping at the antique store since we can't go and see the wild apple forest <laughs> friends and fam so just coming up on Nazarbayev Street I just take a wild guess who it's named after <laughs> but uh like everywhere in Kazakhstan is like Naza something or some named up at named after the first president but uh coming to one of the parks and it's like the main street look we saw this old man already him over here he's following us him right here this guy he made a loop around us but this guy right here he actually has fake birds and real birds no it's all real birds oh they all look like the statues what's his name who's he a wizard wow we got kazakhstan's famous wizard right here no wizard he's a composer Ah. Okay. Well, we'll go into an antique store and also get some coffee because I'm trying to find myself some Soviet items so I can take home. And I mean like home home, not like Narsatan home. I mean like home home. All right, so we'll see how this journey of finding some Soviet relics turn out. This is the square and you got the president's palace we just passed over here not too far from us and uh we're going towards the gold man statue tribute so you'll see that off in the distance right over there bam so we're gonna go there and then make our way over to the the uh, antique store see if we can find some soviet relics but this right here it doesn't look like a whole lot 
That's because the action is all down there. This is the underground mall. So people don't freeze when it's snowing outside. I don't see anybody down there. It's a ghost town. Instagram girls be like, hee 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 hee. Instagram girls be like, oh my gosh. Oh. Look, I'm an Instagram model. <laughs> it says San Miguelio. Called Kayele Agash. The sacred tree of Kazakhstan is an urban interpretation of an ancient Kazakh tradition. The artist took the image of the Aulia Agash, which we went to, by the way, in this journey, day four. The famous 700 year old sacred tree as a prototype of his creation. It grows near the city of Zharkent and 350 kilometers from Almaty. Sacred trees play an important role and the spiritual code of Kazakh people. They're believed to be portals for communicating with the ancestors. A piece of fabric that one ties around the branch of a tree brings prosperity and luck. If you have a special wish for the upcoming year, Kayeli Agash is ready to make it come true. All you need to do is stand under its bright crown, tie the ribbon on this branch, and make a wish. I didn't do any of that, just hugged the tree, walked around it seven times, then hugged the tree again while like make my wish so but that's pretty interesting that's good on the artist to do that bring back the cosmic traditions and make sure they're never forgotten The gold man statue, all the way up there. Now the history behind the gold man statue is they found this suit of armor that was all red and gold. And in his suit of armor, it had a bow and arrows. And so there were some archeological people, archeologists, I can't, I can't speak that English word. Been away from America too long. But they found this suit of armor and they call it the gold man suit. And the gold man suit is like pretty significant for the Kazakhstan culture. It's like some powerful armor or something like that. And uh, that's all I, all I know is like they shoot magical arrows. What's the real history behind the red man suit? Cause I'm sitting here telling lies. <laughs> <laughs> well talking about the red man suit first they, so archaeologist people were digging and they discovered it right no. and that's it nobody knows what it is and it had a bow and arrow but anyways that's all the history I know um, my bad I'm a really bad historian because I'm not a historian I'm an artist <laughs> But they did make a replica of it. There's quite a bit of replicas in the museums. There's one inside the Republic of Kazakhstan Museum in Nursatan. 
but it's not the real one. They got, apparently they have one, the real one traveling around the whole road right now. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to see it with my time of living here. But they do have a statue here and paying tribute, which people love making statues. And uh, remember that hand I was showing you at Nazarbayev just a couple seconds or a minute ago, excuse me. Here's his hand right here. If you have the same hand size as him, you get like the power of Nazarbayev or something like that. Oh. So everything he touches, it always turns gold. So. <laughs> My hand's too big. I don't have the power. I wonder if Sergey's touched his hand too. Great, now I got COVID everywhere. But it is pretty interesting. This is the Goat Man statue. So, hurra! Davai, Davai! Tika Boutique. This is what we're looking for. Let's see. It says open. Stopped by the local watering hole, a place called Mongol Bar. That was a very nice looking restaurant. Having myself a, a nice Irish whiskey. Smoked it some cinnamon, which you just saw with uh, Dimitri over here. But uh, the antique shop was closed and it says it's supposed to be open. That's, I hate when stuff like that happens. So we gave the lady a call or the man, whoever owns the antique shop, it's literally just around the corner from here. So hopefully they call back and they say, what do you want? And I'll be like, I want the Soviet fur coat from the USSR. And he'll be like, duh, skulko stoy. And I'll be like, how much is it? And they say, 100,000 tenge. And I'll be like, no, I'll give you a million tenge. No, 100,000 tenge. I'll be like, niet, two million. So hopefully I have a conversation like that with the antique store. Hopefully it opens up. But until then, we wait. We play the waiting game. Hopefully they call. Hopefully I get to see some Soviet relics and see what they have to offer. And uh, the other one. Oh, look, with Frida. Frida. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, this is where the bathroom is. It's so like a beef bar here. <laughs> they, they hide it with the Frida mat. The Frida painting. <laughs> Там в основном на зеленом базаре очень много фруктов всяких. So we'll not probably around Green Bazaar. We can try. But uh, around the Tidier area or the place, the three places. He said three places, right? No, he was explaining one places. But he says that you see the weather. Yeah, uh, they won't be out. Mabushka, it's like we bought the Ver Verma, whatever the thing was called, right? Yeah. Ah, I see. So, family, friends, since the weather has really like played a part in this whole trip, this whole journey, this whole exploration, the babushkas and dadushkas probably won't be out. 
because they want to stay warm because they're smarter than a lot of us <laughs> but maybe maybe we could still try to find them or try to find some information on where we can find some soviet relics you know what i mean because Dimi thinks like there's a couple of places that we can there are one place we could try to find but he told us about the weather so they won't be out so we'll see we'll see how the journey turns out for day five did i say day five right six. day six saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday thursday yeah day six journey I was trying to find soviet relics he was murdered here well his car was parking somewhere here yeah. at night and somebody was trying to steal his mural and he was like hey what are you doing and they put the knife inside him and he died like that they tried to steal his mirror mirror on the car yeah all oh, that for a mirror yes can you imagine that and he worked this so and there, here's no uh cameras around and at that time and this was difficult to find out and not so far time ago uh, was same same things with the kind of popular bloggers and he put and he said like it's the same place where he was murdering and still they didn't put any cameras around so but i guess now they put the cameras you see there are two cameras there and there so now they have it but yeah dennis denise you'll always be in our hearts we love you forgive us pray for you that's so sad he worked he works really so hard work, you know? he works so hard to like get this level and all that for he's a, a mirror he's a really famous really good one did that person ever get caught uh -huh. did they ever catch the person uh yes i think yes hey whoever decided to murder denise 10 10 you're an evil person man you're an evil person someone who works that hard and you kill their dreams just like that but i'm gonna tell you what you definitely inspired a lot of people to make more of denise tens so there's a lot more of them out there now but that's so evil of you to do all that for a mirror how petty you take a life away for a mirror you can buy a mirror anywhere you can go to jacquette's and go buy a mirror <laughs> <laughs> well, they steal from the, uh, you know, the yeah from the cars, cars. yeah so horrible cool. you take somebody's life just for a mirror someone's someone's life is priceless you can't like you can't give money for someone's life how dare you it's horrible hope you learned a lot so <laughs> i hate to give you bad news about you know not achieving my goals of where i'm going when i say i'm going to go there i've noticed it's starting to become a trend but uh hey we we are actually still on an adventure um we ran into a really nice bar that i always wanted to go to low key um we learned about a uh, um speakeasy made some contacts which is good for me and then learned something about local local history um about um denise Stitz. what's his name denise Stan. denise Stan um that's very upsetting news but to learn something about him so it's definitely going to be on my mind and then now we're going to head over to go pick up some do little errands and then hopefully go have some time to go see uh, uh Jeloni bazaar green bazaar the green market excuse me in english but uh we're still on adventure so if you're ever new to my channel i always expect new things okay that's just how it is so made it out here to um zuloni baraza did i just say the word wrong zuloni bazaar oh okay i said it right then zuloni bazaar which means green market um apparently it's a very popular place for all tourists but uh i'm i'm kind of just in the market i can't find any antique stores that are open right now so i'm just kind of looking for some specific items so let's see if i can find them all right
still in the hunt for Chopin and uh, the Kazakh hat. I still need one. And there's a couple other items that I need. But those are the two main ones I'm looking for. Like these hats right here. Where's the Gorpnik clothes? I'm looking for the, the Gorpnik clothes too. Gorpnik clothes. Abidas. If you don't know, Abidas is the knockoff brand of Adidas. That's what the Gorpniks were. And uh, now it's starting to become spring, summertime, and I need some, you know, Abidas. Look, this is what I used to wear a lot in Sri Lanka. Try to find the beaters. That looks, that makes me look like I'm in the mafia. Like the mafia. Hey, hey, my friends and family, we bought the the legendary Adidas, but we still need to find the Abidas. <laughs> Does he have Abidas? No. I'm sorry, we will not find them. Avocado over here says we're not gonna find the beaters. She said we won't find the beaters because they don't do that anymore. My heart still tells me I can find a beetle still. I know they're out there. Nope. Yes, a beetles. All right, so the reason why they call this place the Green Bazaar is because all the vegetables that you see here that they sell. And it's like I mentioned before, a lot of tourists like to come over here. Now, I've been to a lot of bazaars. I've been to bazaars in Turkey. I've been to bazaars in uh, Sri Lanka everywhere i've been now even here in kazakhstan and uh i, I mean once you see a bazaar you, you've seen them all you can try with bread at home yeah we can try with the bread at home uh, i don't need that you don't I need don't, it I, I don't like it so this is this is from the sturgeon the the voruski fish which you call the sturgeon this is this is so popular here on this side of the world that like they almost killed that fish to existence like they almost never came back to life because that's all they did yeah. look how much it is so avocado was telling me that some 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 is he famous oh yeah uh, so avocado read an article about this guy from holland who came over here to open up a coffee shop in the middle of the bazaar now the question is why would he do that why in the middle of the bazaar? I don't know. She doesn't know, but he did. And here we are. So we're gonna try it out. Hello. <laughs> that looks good what he has. Is this the same place? Hello. This is all the same place? Huh? This is the same place? Yeah. I mean, it's a nice little location. You get to be away from the busy crowd of all the peoples. Yeah, so we're gonna place an order here. This Kazakhstan. Da da da. Mm. Oh, that was beautiful. You want this one? That yeah, that's all of it. This is a beautiful colors. So I wear like this? Wow, thank you. <laughs> it's a present and she will show you how to put it so it will not... So it's over here. You come to the front, this is it, and it looks like that. Uh, how does it Zamzagul. Zamzagul. Yes. Explain it. It's holy water. Zamzag. Like translator, holy water. It's called Eden. 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 Very nice. My friends and family, so... Oh, her name was Jacques. Jacques? Zanzagut has helped me buy my first Chopin, which is like a 
Okay, just to help you guys relate, because I'm not trying to disrespect, but it looks like a bathroom robe or a shower robe for us Americans. But it's an item that's used to wear very traditional clothes here in Kazakhstan. And what they were explaining to me is you wear this when you're going to have like a very honorable guest come to your home and or you were for like a wedding or what just recently passed the holiday called Naurus. So that's when you wear it. And then I also bought a um, just like a regular coat. And then um, Zazagu, what's your name? Zanzagu. Zanzagu. These names are going to be really hard. I'm sorry. But Zanzagu gifted me a, uh, a shupan. Shupan. Hat? Shupan? Takiyar. 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 Small hat. A small. Yeah, it's a very small hat. So she gifted me one of those. And uh, it was very nice. Making memories. Because this is the first one I've ever bought. And this is what I've been wanting to buy since the, these past six months I've been here. All right, now we're going to move on to uh, go see like a, a chocolate factory and uh, see what's up there. And then help head over to the um, war memorial because we never got a chance to see it in, in the daytime because we saw it in the nighttime. So let's move on to this adventure. Look, a mural.